Good evening. Happy Sunday, everybody. Come on in. Hi, how are y'all? Come on in. Say hello. Welcome to Creative Crafting by Katie. I am Katie. Welcome to my page. Come on in. Say hello. Let me know you're here. If you're watching the replay, remember, remember the replays are for fast forwarding options. That alleviates the whole rude comment part. We just fast forward through it. Perfect option for those of you who are busy, which I get. Because, hey, you're not talking to anybody. <laughs> this chick's busy too. Okay? So enough. Enough already. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to talk to my ladies and some gentlemen. So let's, let's get through this nicely. Okay? That's what I have to say to that. Because ain't nobody got time for that use some where's my paint i'm going to use some red barn paint tonight for the majority of the pumpkin itself hmm you guys can see me okay everything's cool i'm not seeing comments really kind of sort of hey andrew i guess maybe it's on my end maybe it's just me <laughs> No, I'm still frozen with that goofy looking face. Good grief. <laughs> Yours is interrupting. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay. We're just going to hope for the best. Okay, so this is tied in the back. I'm not really sure how I feel about all that. So we're going to undo it. I was interrupted and I'm fine now though. Okay. Well, come on. Let's get going, FB. Let's get the ball on the uh, show on the road here. I will have to come around. I'm going to come around and double check. I just don't trust this whole process here. So keep shooting those comments and then I'll be able to tell if you're here or not. Okay, I see you guys scrolling over here. So I'm not going to worry about it on my end so much. I'm just going to get the ball rolling, okay? I'll just have to look at my goofy little face the whole time. This goofy little frozen face over here. Okay, so let me just uh, start off with this barn barn red uh, paint is what we're going to start with tonight. How do, how was everybody's day? Did you guys have a really good day today? Um, this is what I want. <laughs> okay, you're fine now. My day was fine, Cynthia. We had a nice day out at the lake. First time we've been there in a, in a couple years, as a matter of fact, because of COVID, we didn't go. So we're good. We are very happy to have gotten back out there. So I'm going to use the barn red, and I'm just going to start painting my project. And I'm going to use smaller brush this time because we don't want, we don't want a lot of brush strokes, and we got to get around our, our letters here, okay? If you want to go through that whole process. Don't you hate that, Sue, when you really want to accomplish that? Crafted and shopped. Mmm, what you craft? When I want to accomplish something and I don't get it finished, I kind of get bummed. If you go in with that intention of wanting to be done all in one day. I'm going to have to come in with a smaller brush and get into the other areas in between the letters. Hello, 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 hello. Don't forget to spread the love and don't forget to um, come back tomorrow, uh, eight o'clock, about eight o'clock ish, you know, things happen, but we're gonna try for about eight o'clock so we can do the celebration of the 5,000 followers that I've hit. And I've got that Roku and some napkins and maybe another surprise. We'll see. Got to stay tuned. Tomorrow. That would be Eastern Standard Time. Hello, Susan. Welcome. And if I miss your comments and you need me to comment or try to see it, go ahead and recomment it again. But ladies, I do try to go back. And I can't comment on every single person, every single live, but I do try to comment on on some or after my lives, okay? Hmm. 
You are so welcome. No kidding. Awesome. That sounds like a really fall kind of project day. <laughs> I like to go to the farmer's market in, this, in the fall, too. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Just what I like to do. Let me get a smaller little tip so we can get in here really nice. Oh, Eric, thank you for the stars. How are you, Eric? Feeling all right tonight? That's not quite small enough, I think. I want a real fine tip narrow one here, just because I'm trying to keep it off of the letters, okay? Something really itty bitty like that, where we can get in there. We don't paint our projects that often, you know what I mean? I don't do a lot of all painting, so today we're gonna paint. I don't want to put anybody through that whole process we went through the other night of taking off everything. I angered a few people. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was not nice. That was not nice. I'm very tired. You know, when you go to the lake, you um super hot and humid here today. We were in the 90s, and the humidity was just crazy. So, um... I get very tired after being outside like that in the heat and the sun. You understand, right? So you do have options to heat this up and um, take the letters off. I got a couple tips, um, a couple followers said put it in the microwave, which I never thought of putting it in the microwave. I would have thought that would have caught the wood on fire, but I guess if you do it for a real short time, you, it might work. So I'll have to try that next time. A lot of times I do take those things off the projects prior to doing it, but if you're new to crafting, you're not gonna know how it's done if I don't ever show you. Sometimes process has to be shown. So with that being said, I will have to try that that microwave method though because I do take a lot of my projects apart I know I'm over it <laughs> yeah because I had to take it apart I guess I took too long on the replay That's cool. I don't, I don't even care anymore. It was stinking cute. So it's all I care about is my finished product. Fall is, is going to be here just before we know it, right? Hello. Very true, Karen. I love the understanding followers. Um, f yeah, fall is going to be here before we know it. My son will be home next week this time. Yeah. I'm excited to see him. And then my daughter is going to be leaving the next day to uh, take my niece to school so me and Alex can have some quality time <laughs> he's probably like uh uh mama I've got plans <laughs> too bad Alex won't be home for our celebration Monday the celebration of 5,000 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time eight-ish so be there be square <laughs> that's such an old saying huh eight not 8 a.m. 8 p.m. p.m. ladies that um, yes my celebration will be on my page it won't be part of my my morning craft that I sometimes do good point good point 
I will post something tomorrow, or t actually, I'll probably post something um, tonight and tomorrow about it, so so everybody can be there, because we're, that's how we're gonna um, that's how we're gonna draw the names is by your comments. That's how I'll know you're here, right? Is by by comments, and because we don't, we always announce it on our lives. We will not just message you. We will never message you and say that you have been gifted something. Hellos, hellos, hellos. Little bit, a little bit tedious here, make, but you gotta make sure you get a good cover too, okay? Don't just leave it hanging. You don't, you don't want to leave it hanging. So once you get around the letters, it's gonna go much quicker, okay? We got this, ladies. We got this, and gentlemen. Sorry. Don't want to leave my guys out, cause I appreciate you guys too. Yes, you could paint this brown if you want. I'm going to paint it this color. If I don't like it, I do have a chocolate brown I can come back in here with. So, oh, thank you. I hope so, Karen. I'm hoping so. Spread the love. Help me get there. You know, it does. It is going faster and faster all the time. So, I really appreciate it. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. 5200 ish a little over right now so i'm i am honest to god i hope you guys take me seriously because i am sincere i'm as serious as a heart attack <laughs> which i don't want to have that we're just going to celebrate we're not going to have no heart attack don't got time for that either i do not have time for that i have stuff to do <laughs> stuff to do thank you yeah I've just been painting Dawn you're not missing nothing dear <laughs> just painting red barn barn red sorry I always say it I say it backwards because at work we have something and it's called um, Red Barn Slate. And so I always want to say it opposite of what the color of this is. I'm getting my, uh, my jobs confused here. Getting my products confused. Okay. Just about got this licked. Let me just get, I'm going to lift this up and go around the pumpkin. You guys know how to paint. You could also take the leaf off if you wanted to, if you didn't want that there. You could take that leaf off. You could save it for something else. And you could also, um, you could put a bow there or something in place of it. If you don't want that leaf, I'm leaving it. No, I just got paint on my shirt. I, I should have actually taken it off because I, I want to scrapbook paper it. So I might have to. I might have to take it off. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is already starting to dry, and I'd like to go over it again with a little bit more. So I'm just going to go in there and do that. We'll dry, dry it up. And um, in your second coat, you can always go a little bit faster, too. It did, did seep into the wood quite a bit. Mary 
Joe. <laughs> yes, I will just be taking it off to put scrapbook paper on, though. I'm not going to take off the letters. Those I'm going to be using some of this uh, fine luster over here. I'm hoping. You know, this is one of the hot colors this year, ladies. I'm not sure if you've all been out there hitting up the stores and looking at the different fabrics and you and um, not just fabrics take a look at your fashion lines I know you know what I'm saying your clothing lines that is a great inspiration as far as um, what what's going on in for color wise crafts or no crafts it's the end thing colors just to get your color schemes down so if if it's a hot color in in clothing um, then it's gonna be a hot color in decorating make sense Howdy, howdy, Lucy. Let's dry this up so we can take it off. Take it off. Hello, Teresa. Oh, there's it. I'm still frozen over here. At least I have comments. I just noted I noticed I still have that goofy looking face over here. That's all right. I don't mind. When you're when you're good, you're good. When your face looks goofy, it's goofy. I mean, it's a perfect spot to stop. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. I just missed your name. Dang it. Uh, it's very possible that I'm having um, Facebook issues. This color is a barn red and it's an Apple Barrel product. So that should be pretty simple, um, easy to find. Well, I mean, pr brand wise, I'm not saying that the color would be easy to find because sometimes they're not easy to find. Um, this was a favorite of mine over the winter and like Christmassy stuff, right? And so I had to get another one. And so that's what I did. That's what I did. I know I'm getting, uh, Mary, I'm gonna take that off, but thank you. Because I'm taking it off, and I'm not going to spend the time it takes to go around it all nice and tidy. I'm just going to um, get it off all at once, hopefully. This is just a putty knife. Um, this one has to ap happens to have the little tip on it, and it's a little bit thinner here um, at the at the like the approach of the the blade. So you will um, be able to get in there a little bit easier than just a regular putty knife and there it goes see almost slipped my wrist off but we're good no worries it's just a wrist who needs that i do okay so now that i've got that we can just come in here and and quickly do the entire area and that way we will not have any voids okay that mary is why i did not finish that area but thank you because there are many times that this chick will miss a spot. It totally happens. I'm just going to use up the paint that I had on my my thingy here. Is it's really it's really giving a giving me a little bit of fit here. It re it really is see, sinking into the product or the project, the board. Okay. Alrighty then. So I'm going to take this leaf and I'm going to, I'm going to put some, some, uh, oh, scrapbook paper on that. But in the meantime, I want to just take some decor luster and I just want to figure out which color I want to use. Cause I think I'm going to go with a, with one of these orange or copper ones. Um, okay. 
I'm going to put this next to my, my paper here, and I'm going to decide which one I like better. I'm going to go with the copper, okay? There we did it, a little color splotch. Okay, so Deco, Deco Art makes this luster, which is um, kind of like a moist eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using what's called Copper Kettle. It is considered a paint. You can use a brush to paint it on with, or you can... Um, Oh, or you can do um, your finger, which is what I'm going to use. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. Hey, Michelle. There you go. Karen knows what it is. Scraping paint. Yep. It is called a five-in-one tool is what this one's called. <laughs> but yes, Karen is aware of... Oh, thanks, Jules. Welcome. The copper is what we're gonna go with. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here and just rub it on generously. This will dry fairly quickly. Try not to get it on the pumpkin, but it's not gonna matter if it does. It'll just leave a little bit of shimmer there. But you just wanna make sure that you're getting enough on here so that the wood doesn't show through, okay? So here's an alternative to regular standard paint. My, ho my hello is, is starting to fall off, my E. Did I hit it with the the five in one tool? The putty knife? Who knows? It might have. It's okay if it comes off, just hot glue it back on. If you get a big clump like that that falls, just just um don't smear it because it will stay there. Do what I just did and kind of dump it off and then you can pick it up. I love this stuff. I love to put it on. I, it's, it's just so satisfying. I don't even know how to explain it to you. You just got to get you some and um, give it a go. You can try to find this at Hobby Lobby and uh, Joann's Michaels. Look in a couple different areas. Depends on the store. Some of them are over where your stamp stuff is and some of them are over where your paints are. So you just, or, or go to decoart.com and get you a lot of times they're even out of stock online. Okay, so um, this is what we're, we're getting at here. Can you guys see the copper in there? Hey, Mara, I <laughs> like put that right in your face. So we do need a little bit more paint around the edge, around the words. I will go back and do that later on. Um, so you guys are not just sitting here watching me paint and paint and paint. You're not going to notice that. Um, I'm noticing it because I'm here, but I can definitely go back and take care of that. Off camera. Hey, thanks, Amanda. And hello, Rochelle. So this doesn't take a lot of time either. Um, and it has that nice, it has that nice um, coppery shimmer to it. Do you know what I'm so talking about? When you see this in fall crafting and stuff, a lot of times you will see it where it has that shimmer to it. So this is perfect. Even in fabric, sometimes you'll see it like that. Ladies, I love me some fabric. Um, just, I don't know. It's just, there's something that's so satisfying that you can go into like Joann's and just see all the prettiest prints. You think scrapbook paper is cool. Whoa. And I, and I do craft with fabric, but not, not all the time. And I try to get mine from the thrift store. Man, I have to go back to work tomorrow just to relax. I'm like, I have been so busy this weekend and, and being out of town for that that 127 yard sale thing. I'm beat. I've been on the go since Wednesday afternoon. 
And when me and my sister were gone, we drove a, we drove about 800 miles just in a, about two and a half days. And and then, of course, when we went to the lake today, that was another hour each way. <laughs> we're like, here we go again. All right. Just use some little, if you get it too far over, just go ahead and get in there with a, a little um, paintbrush. Okay. Looking pretty pretty decent here all right and then just wipe it off <laughs> I'm telling you I love me some fabric I did get some yesterday but that's for something totally different oh that's yep that's how it goes it's like start all over again okay so that's what we have on our cute little pumpkin. Get that in there. And now I wanted to do that because now it's gonna help me decide what color what color paper I I want to go with. I want to go with like either something possibly polka dots or buffalo check or or something along those lines. So I pulled this pack of paper out that I was gonna um, go off of. And I want to keep somewhat in in line with I don't know actually not blues not greens I kind of thought the yellow was cool quite frankly or the orange so here's our options yellow or this orange polka dot the orange not the pink one that's what I was going to do my leaf in. The yellow would pop. The yellow would pop. Let's just go with the yellow. I'm just going to go with the yellow. <laughs> All right. Let me see what everybody says. Looks like I have, oh, now everybody wants orange. <laughs> I said yellow. Now everybody wants orange. <gasps> oh. Oh, we are we are torn here. I was going to go yellow, but I think I'm going to go orange. I really do. I really think I'm going to go orange. I think it'll just be a more cohesive um, project for tonight. I'm all about that tonight. Let's not get too crazy, huh? I mean, if we really wanted to go crazy, we could also do this, which I used the other day on a project. We could do that. That would be really cute, too, don't you think? We could do this, um, this pattern. Or we could do polka dots. I'm kind of liking the pattern because that really kind of looks cute together. So let's do that. I just happened to look down and seen it sitting right there. <laughs> I think God was saying, use this one instead, Katie. You know how that goes, right? What am I doing? Okay. Ooh, that was a little bit heavy on the squeeze. All right. It's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. The pattern is what I'm using. Yeah, see? That's how it goes around here. I go to do one thing and I completely go in another direction. That's all right. Okay. Pattern it is. Pattern it is. Woo! Megan, don't they sell chalk pens at Dollar Tree?
burning my bag over here, my bead bag. Okay, let me just kind of get in here a little bit with my scissors to get rid of some of this extra. And of course, we're going to have to get in here with a nail file. So I'm just getting rid of some of this extra so I can get in there better. Since we've got lots of little nooks and crannies to get into. And I, dr I was drying it because I want to make sure that my paper doesn't shift around too much or tear. When it's wet, it wants to tear. All right. Oh, yeah. There you are. Okay, let's be careful because we don't want to be over rough with our project like piece like I usually am. We don't want it to break. Hmm. So this is going to take a second as well, but very much worth it in the end. Be careful. This one tip is coming off of the corner here. so. always a risk one takes when taking it off like that. This would be really um, a lot more challenging to try to trace the, the project still glued down to that board. I just picked these up at the Dollar Tree and I and I do get several of them at a time when I find them because these um these little these square ones are a little bit harder to to find um for me and they have a really good grit to it so it's that's why I like them. Careful. The stem is going to be very delicate, too. This leaf is actually from the project. I just took it off with, um, I heated it up with my um, hair dryer to be able to get it to come off. So that is where they came from. But I do have some, some other ones from last year. Somewhere here on the table. Give me just a minute when I finish this. I'll show you those. And I think the Dollar Tree has a, possibly has some as well. Um, they would have been out for a while though. They would have been I don't know if they're leaves though. Oh yeah. The Dollar Tree sells these. So if you can look for some of these um, in that dark like press boards type MDF the Dollar Tree sells those. Mix 
sometimes I have to look at the back of my project to make sure that I'm getting it right. <laughs> I do have a round one here too. You can buy the small um, nail files. Sometimes though they are a little bit cheaper and they don't last very long, even though you get a lot more of them in there. Sometimes just having a different angle helps. Totally worth it, in my opinion, to do something like this. If you're going to take the time to do a project, don't rush through it. Do it do it right. Take the time to take it off and put the, the perfect piece of scrapbook paper on there. It's important to pay attention to the detail. Like, I will pay attention to and come around here now and get rid of as much as I possibly can of the white part of the paper that wants to always stay behind, right? To me, that is a part that you want to try to get off as much as possible, especially where you're going to see it. Okay. All right, that's adorable. But the other leaves that I have, <clears throat> excuse me, the other leaves that I have, they're, they're actually stickers. And I can't remember, if I wanna say that they came from, not Hobby Lobby, these came from Hobby Lobby. You can get these all the time at Hobby Lobby. They come in different shapes, and those are just in the uh, in the wood pile section. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's called wood pile. That's where these smaller ones are from. These sticker ones, I can't remember where I picked them up from. This stuff is from last year. I can't remember yesterday, <laughs> let alone last year, right? Okay. So we're going to put that back on. Let me just get rid of some of this debris so we don't have that going in there. Put that back on. Okay, so those colors look really, really cute together. Really cute together. All right. Um, and then maybe we could use some green raffia because we do have a little bit of tiny bit of green in the in the in the paper here. So this is from Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, this is from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> like I know that in my head. I've just said the wrong thing. So let's see if we can make something something cute out of this mess here. I thought I had some brown stuff. Still trying to come across and, and get things all back out for fall. Um, it's, it's a lot. Fall, Halloween, every day. There's a lot going on over here. <laughs> a lot going on over here. If you find that they're too thick, you can always you can always take them up and like pull it apart. See how this one's pretty thick? You can just come in here and pull it apart and, and give you a few more pieces.
Yeah, Terry, ours was super hot too. Ours was really, really bad. But we were about to water, so it helped. <laughs> that definitely helps. We'll put some, um, we'll mix them up. Have a, I just have this brown thin ribbon here. I'm just going to use that. You can use twine. You can use um, the raffia if you want. But it's all in the same colors. I'm going to cut my, my edges here. You don't have to do this. You can leave them um, round if you want. I'm just going to cut them and open them up, so to speak. Let's see how that looks. My thing just came off. <laughs> I'll just use string. It was probably too silky and I only did um, my knot came undone already. So because I cut it, it happens. You try to use something cute and it just doesn't let you. That's fine. So be it. We'll just use this twine or jute. Oh, thanks, Carly, for the stars. Yeah, no biggie. That's, we won't sweat the small stuff over here, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. Back now. Now, okay. We're we're going to we're just going to finish this up real quick here, okay? I won't keep you guys, um, I have no idea. I generally don't get internet problems, but I don't know. I think, I think it's not me, but whatever. <laughs> All right, this is awfully um, big, so I'm going to have to keep not in this so they do not, I don't like them to slide around a whole lot. You know what I mean? Okay, that'll do. <laughs> oh, I thought I cut you. <laughs> Did I not cut you? See, I got all flustered with you. Cut me off that I forgot to cut my string. I'm thinking it's, it is too. But I don't want to say anything because I don't want to get in any trouble. I don't have satellite. I have, um, we have fine weather. It's hot. No rain yet. No rain today. Maybe, ne maybe the next couple nights though, we might have some threatening storms. So better not interrupt tomorrow for our little celebration, right? I just thought out, Donna, you're so funny. That's hilarious. Okay. So, I mean, they can go a little bit. I just don't like them going down the street. 
Not too much. I'm going to actually come in here, put a cute little knot in the front. Sometimes I like me that look. You know what I mean, ladies? Oh, great, Jessica. Well, thank you for the heads up. <laughs> but what a pain, huh? What a pain. It'll be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. I'm going to post something, Megan, so keep an eye out on it for um, later tonight or on my stories or anything like that. Come back to take a look. I will have it posted tomorrow as well on my page. Hopefully this is going to turn out okay. All right. Now to cut off the excess. And then it kind of gives you just a cute little added touch to the front of your project. Um, I was I was thinking of some orange ribbon. That's why I kind of stopped with um, with my ribbon because I was thinking I needed to do something else with it. But that's kind of that's kind of bold, huh? It's pretty bold, bold and beautiful. Oh, I didn't see this one that I had. Okay, we're going to tie that in too. Okay, that one's, this one's a little bit, um, this one's a little bit more tamed. It wasn't as, it was, the other one was uh, shiny. So I think that's why. But let's get some of this red in there. It's burgundy. It's definitely going to be, um, Yeah, um, sometimes people do, you know, if they're in a rural area, the internet can be an issue. And unfortunately, that that's too bad for them because you, you know, you don't want to, you know, they, they put in a lot of effort. So I get it. It's hard. I know it's hard. Um, but normally I do not have issues. So. This is a great color. We're going to add that to this. I'm going to take it up. I want to take it apart because I want to be able to see if I can get the colors to kind of intertwine more. So let me do this and get this one um, set up and cut up like Edward Scissorhand. Chop, 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 chop. Okay. And then let's just try to like mix them. <laughs> let's just try it, see how it works. Back to the whole twine thing. Yeah, these are great fall colors. This green is very popular. This Christmas as well. So keep your eye out for that one. Um, I have navy in this green and purpley. More purple um, than this one. It's beautiful together. The colors are just beautiful. So it's going to be fun having something different to work with. I'm, I other than the traditional co Christmas colors. So 
Let's just tidy this up. And I want to put that up here. Like that. That's not going to work. Sorry, I'm just trying to look for the right color. So I think I'm going to add these two to the mix. These are both from um, Michael's. They had their sale not, the, oh, I don't know, maybe a, a month or so ago where their stuff was on sale for 99 cents, these smaller ones. So I, I got myself a couple... I'm just chewing these two together so um, they can kind of intertwine the colors. Well, intertwine. I definitely need another hand when I do this because it's challenging when you're doing it with just one but when you try to twine the two together it becomes even more complicated you know you know I'm gonna complicate it as much as I possibly can so Megan if you want those letters to be lighter go ahead and just choose a color that you that you like you know I'm just giving you guys options. I'm showing you different products that I that I use as well. And um, this Luster is a very cool shimmery product that I like to use in a lot of my stuff. You will see that coming Christmas time and stuff, how much I will use it. I might have to just do them single. Yeah, I know, Roberta. I know. I'm going to do that in my spare time, honey. I know, honey. I know. I know, I know, I know. That's all, that's all I can say is I know, I know, I know. All right, I'm just going to do it single because it's getting too complicated. They keep getting uh, undone. And I will do a video on these little bows. I promise you. I promise you. It's just... Um, working on a couple other things right now. We will get them. I'm going to have to have Adriana home. So it winds up with this cute little double double bow for me here. Um, I'm going to have to have my daughter home with me so she can kind of move with my fingers, if that makes sense. I can't do it on a still video where um, I just have the camera rolling. There's no way that you guys will catch everything on there. In my opinion, that would be our safest bet, and so that's why... I have to wait for her too. She's been super busy as well. Okay. See how much quicker it is when you're not dealing with two different ones. So then I have, there'll be a couple different size. Chop them down. Okay, so they're just a cute little double bow. And I'm just going to stack them together here. So let's get the raffia down. You could also choose a, a button, another leaf, if you wanted to do another just plain leaf that you would. I'm just giving you options, throwing out ideas. You do you. 
that's what I'm I'm here to just give you ideas and then when you go and make it yourself you can do it your your way right okay this way we'll pull in a little bit of the orange here all right let me just show you what I've got here on the finished product okay so our natural beads are tying into our piece of scrapbook paper down here and getting that natural color in there as well so you gotta you know kind of play that all into to uh, factor as well as what you're pulling in on the raffia so we can all we can pull the whole project together so I like the letters. I know that they, it's it's a little bit dark, but if you if you hit it right on the shimmer, it's it shows. I'm gonna have to fix this tie here so it's even. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to come back tomorrow and hang out with me at 8 p.m. Central uh, Eastern Standard Time. Sorry. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so that we can um, have our little celebration of my 5,000 followers. Um, so, ladies, I'm not going to keep you here tonight. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the love and support tonight and every night and all the stars and all the anything just being here that's that is supporting my page, ladies, and 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 spreading the love, the mustard, the ketchup, or the mayonnaise, whatever it is that you're spreading. Um, know that that's the most important thing that doesn't cost you anything that you can do for anybody that you follow. If you're liking what you see, help us out by getting the word out, and that's a great way to do it. And the comments and the engaging, all that's perfect. That's oh, Peggy, thank you um, for the stars. Thanks, Francine. I appreciate that. Yeah, ladies, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on in so you can be a part of the celebration. I'm going to do the Roku, um, some napkins, and then I have a surprise for something else, okay? So I will see you all then. I can't wait to celebrate that with everybody. I cannot wait to um, celebrate with everybody. And hopefully we won't have any internet issues, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.